So welcome to my video on adding mixed numbers. Here we have 2 and 1 sixth being added with 4 and 2 thirds. And the first thing I like to do, and I wrote this for you in green, is I like to add the whole numbers together. And then the second thing I like to do is I like to add the fractions together. So that's what I'm going to do now. So since we have a whole number of 2 in our first mixed number, and we have a whole number of 4 in our second mixed number, I'm going to add those two whole numbers together in purple. And since we have a fraction of 1 sixth in our first mixed number and a fraction of 2 thirds in our second mixed number, I'm going to add those two fractions together in green. So now we need to simplify this as much as possible. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is add my two whole numbers together. We have 2 plus 4, which is equal to 6. And now we can add the two fractions together. However, we need to have common denominators to add or subtract fractions. So since we have a denominator of 6 and a denominator of 3, we have uncommon denominators. We need to make the denominators the same before we can add these two fractions. So if we multiply 3 times 2, 3 times 2 is equal to 6, which gives us the same denominator as our other fraction. So now we have common denominators. But one thing you have to remember is that whatever you do to the bottom of a fraction, you have to do to the top of a fraction. So since we multiplied the bottom number by 2, we have to multiply the top number by 2 as well. So now I'm going to simplify my two fractions. Our first fraction of 1 sixth stays the same. And our second fraction in our numerator, we have 2 times 2, which is equal to 4. And in our denominator, we have 3 times 2, which is equal to 6. So now that we have a common denominator, these two fractions can be added quite easily. Since our denominator is 6, when we add these fractions together, our denominator is also going to be 6. And in the top of the fraction, we just add our two numerators, 1 and 4. And 1 plus 4 is equal to 5. And we can't forget to bring down our whole number of 6. And we have a final answer of 6 and 5 over 6. So here are some more videos with some more example problems related to the video you just watched. I really hope you're finding my tutorials helpful. So until my next video, I will see you later.